So first thing you want to do is fill in your brows. Once you've done this, prime your eyes as usual, making sure that you blend it out really well all over the lid. For the lips, I'm going to be using a nudie pink lip gloss. Now we're going to be using a matte black, so taking it with a sable brush, we're going to apply this all over the lid. To create the wings, slowly work your way outwards in small little motions just so that it makes it a lot easier in case you mess up. Now taking a small angled liner, we're going to line under the lid. Blend it out with a pencil brush. Now taking a blending brush, we're going to blend the rest of the eye. Taking whatever's left on the brush, we're going to slowly extend it further up by just taking it and gently dabbing it onto the skin. This way we don't get too much of a harsh line. With a barium glitter dust, we're going to take this and we're just going to press it over the main parts of the lid. Brush away any excess with a fan brush. Now if there's still some which is still stuck onto the foundation, take a little piece of sellotape and just stick it over the areas where you've had fallout and gently take it off. Using a white eyeshadow as a highlight, I'm going to apply this just underneath the brow bone, tapping off the excess. And now we're going to apply some false lashes. So as usual, apply lash glue, wait for it to become tacky. You know it's tacky once it starts to go a little bit of a bluish shade. Take the matte eyeshadow again, and we're just going to apply this over the lash glue just so that the white disappears and it really sets the glue. Now just take a black eyeliner and line the waterline, again setting it with powder. Now to finish off, first of all we're going to take black rhinestones and apply them around the eye, spacing them out. And once you've done this, we're then going to take the silver rhinestones and apply them over the rest of the eye. Finish off with mascara and that's it, you're done.